hello hello virgos it's jackson knowledge goddess welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a relationship a timeless relationship love reading for you all so it's specifically for couples you know people who are already connected uh, in a connection together um you know all that good gravy okay so whenever you get this message this is exactly when it's meant for you to have it but please keep in mind that these are general messages it's not a personal reading so everything may or may not apply to you in your situation please like subscribe and share with a friend who may need this message and also comment and let me know if it resonated with you without further ado let's begin all right so let's see what is going on with virgos in love in relationships <clears throat> What's going on with Virgos and love and relationships? Okay. Okay. What's going on with Vir 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 Virgos? Okay, so y'all and y'all feelings, eh? Okay, so. You have the moon energy, which is about your unconscious, sensitive, and inner emotions and responses, okay? I feel like some of you are trying to hold back from your feelings or something like that, from expressing yourself. Then you have the fifth house. It says where where you have fun, romance, and create things that you are proud of. Ooh. At the bottom of the deck, you have the work, health, and duty area of your life. So I feel like you're trying to balance... Um work and love okay that's what you're trying to do right now okay so let's see and i just seen transparency okay so let's see what's what's going on currently with virgos then we're going to figure out um what you need to work on within your relationship and also um what you can look forward to okay so you have estrangement okay so off the boat um <laughs> off the boat no pun intended so this is about somebody that you were estranged from possibly you got storms ahead okay what else do we got for virgos in relationships okay so maybe you're feeling a little distant from someone okay you have uncooperative and female uh, feminine energy receptive so somebody's having a hard time accepting something here yeah somebody's having a hard time accepting something right now okay let's see let's see Okay, sorry Virgos. Okay, so yeah, so it seems like somebody's having a hard time accepting that something is over, probably. Okay, so you have the magician. Okay. I feel like you, you haven't given attention to your person. Okay. Um, like you, your person feels like you've been distant okay that's what they're feeling like and they're trying to do everything in their power okay this is a magician trying to do everything in their power to make things right okay I feel like some of you may be invited out a lot okay so what do you need to work on um Be more clear about what you want and what you expect, especially with you being a Virgo. Virgos are perfect perfectionists. Okay, you got the world card. Okay, Scorpios just got the world card in the same position. Um, Faded Pathway was in the same position, and Illumination was over here. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, <clears throat> that could be uh, something you need to watch. But um, what you need to work on is getting clear about exactly what you want. Because you have unclear. You have unclear. Then you have go with the flow. 
then you have illumination and faded pathway in the world so in the world card is about something ending okay walking into a new path so um i feel like you're either you may you or your person may not be clear about what you want i feel like one person is clear and the other person is not clear like things are kind of hazy okay so <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> so there's a need for um clarity in within your relationship okay so you have social gathering let's see what's, what's coming up moving forward moral compass so again going out more i see with this social gathering okay you can be dealing with a fire sign as well or you can have fire in your chart okay see second chances and awareness so moving forward <clears throat> i feel like there's something that you need to be more open to more aware of okay I feel like somebody has something to say to you. I feel like your person, uh, they have a lot of things to say to you, but they've been holding back. See, I feel like this is your person. See how she just lonely. I am so lonely. Okay. I have nobody. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yep. See, look at the bottom of the deck. You have anxiety. Okay, a woman holding a heart. So, <clears throat> moving forward, I think that you've changed your mind about giving someone a second chance or giving your person <clears throat> a second chance. Okay. So, let's see. What else does Virgos need to be aware of? After this, we're going to get into the juicy jar. Um, after we clarify these. And, um... Then after the juicy jar, we're going to get into y'all's advice moving forward. And yeah. Okay. I just heard friends. How many of us have them? Friends. One weekend of on Friends. Okay. So friends could be significant here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Let me let me not assume. Okay. So you have the six of cups. Um, this six of cups is definitely retrograde energy so uh, um, this is a timeless reading but currently we're in retrograde which means things are coming back around okay um, I feel like someone wants to take the opportunity to uh, move forward in a better way and, and um, like they want that second chance with you um and I don't know if you're trying to hear that. I feel like there are some people who think that they've gotten away with some things, but they haven't. Okay. I feel like someone... Okay, so I just heard the one that got away. Okay, so this person, um, I feel like either you or this uh, or your person is trying to uh, mentally escape from having to put in the work that's needed here. This is Ace of Pentacles. Um, an otter may be of importance to you. I would look up um, what does the otter spirit animal mean. So look that up. Even, you know, it, it might sound crazy, but look it up. Otter, spirit, animal, meaning. Look that up. That may be significant for you. 
Okay. I feel like you had the chance to walk away from something, but you didn't. Um, like I said, you're trying to mentally escape from something because you've seen the bigger picture about what this is and what it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, you're trying to move forward. You're trying to be uh, stable. And um, I feel like somebody's trying to bring that old thing back. And it's just not what you're trying to do. Okay. So this, this could be for y'all who are thinking about leaving a relationship. Okay. I feel like things are going to balance out. But there's some things that need to be communicated first. Yeah, because it's, it's about that time. I feel like you've been contemplating contemplating about how you're going to go about this um but with this world card yeah because i feel like th this just just prolonging a certain situation and honestly you sound like scorpio's reading so definitely if you're dealing with a scorpio i would say look at this look at look at that um video yeah I feel like with this magician here in the moon card, like you're still trying to make things happen or avoiding an ending, trying to still, you know, make it look good. But I feel like now you're realizing the bigger picture. Some of you could have locks as well um, or something like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much over with. I feel like um, this is a little obsessive energy as well. Let's get some more cards. And then we're going to get into the juicy jar. See, look, you got past lives. Relationship goals. Yeah, this is something that is supposed to end. Hidden emotions. You're always on my mind. Thinking about you, thinking about you, I can't stop. Thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you, I can't stop. Thinking about you. The devil energy is like obsessive energy. It's like unhealthy energy, toxic energy. Um, you know, things that you're supposed to let go. It's like and you haven't. It becomes toxic. Okay. yeah it's just time it's time it's time I feel like there's I feel like you need to speak what's on your mind so that you can be able to move forward because I see where this Virgo is worried about um I feel like you're ready for a new kind of love a new kind of cycle in love a new cycle in love but you've been working very hard, okay? See this person, they're working, you know, working on your creative um, skills and abilities. And then you literally, at the bottom of the deck, you have the work, health, and duty area of your life. So I feel like you're just at that point where, you know, if this person is not on the same frequency as you, then it's just time to let go because that's just baggage, right? So, um, let's see. All right, so let's see what the juicy jar has to say, which means your person or you. Let's see what y'all got to say. Let me clear some of these. All right, let's clear these off before I get the juicy jar. And then we're going to get into y'all's advice moving forward and i got some new love cards coming in y'all oh my gosh i'm so ready ready for that all right let's see what the juicy jar has to say i feel like there's new love coming in for y'all but this energy is just here right now in the midst of your transformation see look 
told y'all. Ooh, excuse me. I am so sorry, y'all. I couldn't even help it, and I'm not even sleepy. So some of y'all, um, y'all may be up at night with this moon energy here too. Restless, um, not being able to sleep, okay, or focus, or like not getting enough sleep or something like that. But right here we have, I'm working on me, myself, and I. So yeah, I just feel like y'all aren't on the same frequency anymore. Baby, I'm ready. See, yeah, I just feel like that's you being ready for this new love or you can be dealing with a new person. You have goatee. So this person could have a, uh, a goatee. Okay. Or you. It says you're the person of my dreams. Yeah. Yeah, this person... Y'all... Oh, it's just time to let it go, baby. So you got cancer, so you could be dealing with the cancer. Okay. Baby, let me upgrade you. Yeah, I'm telling you, you that, that's you ready for a new a new love cycle. I'm on I'm on my boss ish. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely worried about yourself now, working on your independence. You just want a whole new cycle. Yeah, you have need you need routine and discipline. So again, some of you may need more sleep. Or get your schedule back together. You have 10 and 10 10. So you can be seeing 10s a lot. And that's about transformation. That's about an ending um, for a new beginning. It says, I'm going to be famous. So y'all are really working on yourselves right now. But like I said, I feel like um, you were healing from those things from before. And now that you've been working on yourself so much, you're ready for a new love cycle. Heard it all before. Yeah. I feel like that pertains to that old person. Like, you've heard all those excuses before. Like, lame. Okay. Like, you're done with that. Okay. All right. So, moving on. What does Virgos need to know? I almost said Cancers again. Okay. All right. All right. So, what advice does Virgos need moving forward? Okay. Oh, you got incoming. So we got three more cards. You got incoming. It says news, message, game changer, surprise, invitation, insights, gift, and making connections. Okay. Then you have follow your bliss. It says do what inspires you. Creativity. Told y'all. New direction. Told y'all. Heart meets the mind with no fear-based decisions. Yes, honey. Loving it. Two more look look release attachment told y'all it says be free of expectations and feel great about letting go Scorpio's got that too it says longing gives vibes of not having so you know don't dwell on the past so much but do visualize and think about what kind of person you want in the future okay all right so two more cards want to come out so bottom of the deck you have enjoyed the journey it says the fun is getting there acknowledge your progress travel mental vacation and be spontaneous i told y'all some of y'all trying to escape mentally from uh, or trying to avoid some kind of conversation or something like that but some of you could be traveling you know be safe okay but then you have observe it says not getting caught in the story or the details total acceptance of what is so like it's, it's it is what it is see the bigger picture didn't i say i was trying to see the bigger picture earlier told you so it says it's manifested new desire reality is already present in your life you have vibrational alignment and astrology gives edge so especially with this astrology gives edge this is about that retrograde energy for me but i feel like you've passed the retrograde test and you're ready to move forward um and you know just let that situation go and start working on yourself and now you're working on new love see and you look at the, those are love planets two love planets so yeah so i feel like there's somebody new coming into your life okay after you've already left this other person all right so with that being said, thank you so much, Virgos. I hope that y'all um, stick around by subscribing and, you know, join me. 
um, <clears throat> comment and let me know if this resonated with you all. Please like. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like to send me any um, donations or anything like that. My cash app is in the description below. So thank y'all so much. I hope this was beneficial for you. Y'all have a wonderful, abundant life. <laughs>